Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we look at the case statement, or as it's called in Python, the ELIF statement, equivalent to the switch statement in other programming languages. So if we take our program to determine the biggest of three numbers, there's an else and an if beside each other here that we can join together and change the statement into an ELIF. If we do that, then that then has to come back to here and the end of disappears. We also need to bring the else back to fully, put the print back. A little only four statements, four spaces back. And then if we save this and run it, let's try and get a value that brings us into the LF part here. So if we put in a value of 45 for A, 77 for B and 23 for C. It gives us 77 is bigger than 45 and 23, which is the B. That means printing out this statement here. So the ELIF is working fine in this one. That's a less typical example than, let's say, if we were doing something like multi choice questions. And we were reading in a value uh, choice. And it wouldn't be an integer value, it would be, let's say it's A, B, C, or D. And we check if A, if choice is equal to A. Is equal to A. Then we might print, let's say that, um, let's say that C is the right answer. So then we'd say that A is the wrong answer, so we'd print wrong um, S W E R quotes and then when the user elif to if B if LF choice is equal to B we'll assume that's the wrong answer as well. If it's C, we'll assume C is the right answer. If it's D, that's the wrong answer. And then we'll have our catch-all else um, invalid option. Let's be nice let's say please try again. So let's see this in action. So let's input the value as A. A is the wrong answer. Run it again. Let's input it as C. C is the right answer. Now let's input it as G. G says please try again because that's not one of the, the particular values. So that's multi-choice questions using ELIF. Let's try um, calculate grade. So let's say please input your percentage value. And in this case, we're going to check if the value input is uh, greater than or equal to 70. Now, because it's a number, we're going to change the input choice. It's no point calling it choice, we'll call it grade. We're going to int it. And we're going to check if the grade is greater than 70. Then it's a first. Otherwise, if the grade is greater than or equal to 60. To one, otherwise, if the grade is less than or equal to fifty, it's a two two. Otherwise, if the grade is less than or equal to forty. It's a 
third. Otherwise, it's a fail. So let's say dude. Um, sorry. It's a fail. So let's check that out again. And we could put them in there as well. So if it's over 70 or over, so if we put in 190%, we'd say it's first. If it's between 60 and 70, it's 2, 1. Between 50 and 60, it's 2, 2. Between 40 and 50, it's a third. And less than 40, and it's a fail. So let's save that and run it. So let's say, let's do 77. It's first. Let's do 110. Still a first. Let's do 55. It's 2, 2. Let's do a fail now. Let's do 33. Dude, sorry, it's a fail. So that's our elif statement, our case statement, working in it to, to calculate which option you're selecting. Thanks very much for this. We'll see you on the next episode of Programming and Algorithms.